Hey everybody, Caleb here, and today we have another video in the 60 day upload challenge. We're almost to the end of it, then we're gonna be doing once or twice a week. So thank you guys for joining along really quick, really fast. If you don't mind, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Today we're talking about parables. We're gonna have a lot more videos talking about the Bible, ministry, faith, and a whole host of other things that I'm passionate about. So if you have not subscribed yet, please do that. Even like, there we go, that was enough time to subscribe right there. Also, like this video if you don't mind. It means a lot. Appreciate it so much. Let's dive in though. So, parables. Why did Jesus teach with parables? That's a question I think a lot of us sometimes think and wonder and ask about. There's some actually just like straight up answers within the Bible, but I want to even just speak to a practical sense from it, which is, what is a parable? What's the benefit? And uh, why is it something good even to teach with and study today? So, first, we need to know what a parable is. I'm going to read the Google definition because it's uh, right here. A parable is a simple story used to illustrate a moral or spiritual lesson. And then it says, as told by Jesus in the Gospels. So basically in the Gospels, the biographies of Jesus written by some of his closest disciples, we read that Jesus taught with parables. These short stories that were teaching moral and spiritual lessons. Now, Kind of the way I frame this and think about it is that Jesus was not just wanting to give definitions. He was wanting to paint pictures for us. Now, what happens when you paint a picture? Well, you see, I think about the Mona Lisa, okay? You show up and you see people line up to stare and look and just watch and look at the Mona Lisa. They could look it up on Google. They could look it up on TV, the internet, anything. They could go and find it, but they want to go see it, and they want to look at it, and they want to study it. They want to study the artwork. They want to see the meaning behind it. Jesus is doing that with the parables. When you have a definition, you look at it cut and dry. Okay, this is what that means, and that's what that is. Okay, good to know. But God is more than that. God is trying to show us something more than just black and white answers. He's wanting to show us the contents. He's wanting to show us the relationship. He's wanting to show us the intentionality behind it. As an example, let's think of the parable of the prodigal son. It's a very popular and famous story um, out of the Gospel of Luke. And so when you look at this story, this parable, we're seeing a son basically wish his dad dead, take his inheritance, go waste all of it, realize he should go back, tries to go back as a servant. Instead, the father runs to him, which was not accustomed to their culture, and he runs to him, hugs him, picks him up, and says, I'm going to put you back in your place. You will not be a servant. You are my son and I love you and I restore you. See, that's a lot better than just saying, all right, crowd, man has sinned. They're separated from God. They've chosen their path. And uh, God's saying you can come back. Which one's more personal? Seeing the story. Why? Because the story shows the heart. A definition just teaches a principle. And so it's important, yes, to have that, but just like a painting, you can read through the story and you can see the nuance and you can pick up on the intentionality. In a short story, he was able to convey so much. You can look at the symbolism of giving the shoes back to the sun, of giving the robe to the sun, of giving a ring to the sun. There's so much more packed in there than just one blanket statement definition. And so why did Jesus teach with parables? To show how intentional God is, to show how much God loves us, and also to make it so people actually had to think. So people actually had to engage with what was being said. And you know what? There's prophecies and there's things that we read early in the Bible that speak to just the reality that Jesus was not going to come and just speak in plain language, but was going to speak through parables and story and things like that. And that's awesome and great and something to totally recognize. But also from the fact of just us being people, like I love getting to read these stories and engage in these parables. So even just from a practicality standpoint, Man, it just makes it, I think, just so much more engaging for us nowadays. And so why did Jesus teach with parables? To help show not only a principle, but to show the intentionality, to show the reality, to show us more than just a definition. And so today, that's all I got for you guys. Read through some of the parables. Read through them. You can look through them and just study them, explore them, just like a painting. Look them over more and more, over and over again. I think each time you might find a new aspect of it that sticks out to you. And so thank you guys so much for checking this out. 
Leave a like on the video if you could. Maybe you found it influential. Hey, uh, maybe share it with a friend that maybe has some questions about studying through the Bible and studying through Jesus' teachings. Also, subscribe to the channel with the 60 day challenge is over soon, but we'll still be having videos once or twice a week. Thank you guys so much for your support and comment any questions at all that you have. I might not be able to answer all of them, but I'll do my best. And so with that being said, thank you guys so much. Appreciate you for checking this all out. And I will see you tomorrow.